Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading now. This is for September 11th through the September 17th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I did pre-shuffle these three times before I hit record. Foresight, preparation is the first card. The second card is the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Slow moving energy, something that's coming very slowly. The, the third card is the Two of Swords. That is about um, ignoring a situation, ignoring something or pretending that something isn't what it is. Maybe you've been waiting for happiness to come, preparing for it. Maybe that's where, why you've been focusing on your work so much is that you've been waiting, you know, because you need to prepare for your family. Yeah, there's love here this week. There is. This week, there's, there's more love that you could find yourself attracted to somebody in a very big way. If you're not already, there's a high attraction. This is a week of um, love. All right, we have the Lover's card, and we have the Two of Cups, and we have the Ace of Cups. This is definitely, and we have the Page of Cups. So you definitely could have a romantic interest if you're not already in a relationship with somebody. Somebody could be interested in you, or you could be interested in somebody. It could be very, very unexpected. All of a sudden, you <laughs> connect with this person, and it's out of the blue, okay? And it's quite shocking. That's what the Lover's card is, but... The connection is deep and you just go with it. So that looks great. It looks like there's a new welling of emotion here. Could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we do also have uh, Pisces and Scorpio here in Cancer, which um, could be any of those. Could be Taurus, Capricorn, could be any sign. You have all the signs here, so it really could be any sign. Um, you do have a lot of fire energy though, so that, that would be the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think something was false though. I think that something, um, has broken down that was a false foundation and maybe it has opened you up to a new love. Perhaps you, something came to light that was false all along and all of a sudden you realize it and you can't pretend anymore and so now new love is here. You know, I do see that there's definitely some love here. Perhaps some truth came out um, about something that wasn't real. Um, yeah, that's what I see. And I think that you've been preparing for it. You know, you were waiting to hear this information, whatever it is, or for it to become known so that you could stop even thinking about it. All right. I see that with the world card that something new is right ahead of you. The new phase of your life is right ahead. It's exciting. It's adventurous. It's um, fun. So I think you have a, a um, new long-term project with the world card right ahead of you. Something has been completed. Could have been a karmic debt. Okay, could have been a phase of your life, could be a graduation, could be a change in jobs, could be a marriage, could be from being single to being in a partner, could be having a child. Something major is right around the corner because this is a completion, it's the last card in the deck. When this card comes up, a major part of your life is over and a new one is about to begin and it's going to be very big. It's going to be, I mean, this guy is an entrepreneur. He's a businessman. He takes action. He has the strength. He has the power. He has the wisdom. It's a he or she, by the way, that accomplishes what he sets his goals. You know, sets whatever he sets his goals to, he accomplishes. All right. So I see that there's a very bright, exciting a future ahead of you after something false came tumbling down and I think it involves love I do I think it involves love so I think there's a attraction this week between you and another person that is very very deep there's a deep connection between you and another all right and it feels really good it really does it's unexpected 
It's an unexpected feeling of emotion, an unexpected feeling of love this week. And it, it, it looks really, really good. There it is. It's the beginning of a new partnership, I think. In love. It looks really good. It looks like a very loving week. Yeah, I think a truth came about that had, maybe you have released somebody. And now you're open to new love. And you're really like, okay, this is the direction I'm going to go. I don't want that anymore. It wasn't true. It was false. And here we go. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's the end. <laughs> because the, you had this one twice. No, it's the world. But it's the same kind of thing. A little bit different. And the King of Wands again. It's, it's a big deal. You have definitely a fire sign somewhere. If it's not in your chart, it's with the partner. Okay, or with this Two of Cups. This is an air, uh, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is an ending of something. Letting something is over. Something, you're letting something go to start something new. There's no doubt about it. There's no more resisting. Something was false all along. The truth has come out. You can't pretend it's ever going to work. It's time to start a new cycle. It's time to begin a new phase. Maybe a new family life. You've been preparing for this. You knew it was going to come all along. All right. It, it, the new chapter is right ahead of you. And it looks very, very exciting and passionate you're going to follow your passions you're going to be very successful i don't see any quitting here i see you hate taking action i mean this is a week of love and excitement that's what i see there's no confusion there's clear thoughts there's there's nothing there's just it's a great week i think that something became known some truth came out about a false foundation that you were hanging on to. And I think now you're letting it go and new love is right there. Right, right there. And this is if this isn't happening now, then um, it's in the future. If it could have already happened, if you are coupled, it could be a resurgence of a relationship. If you're already in a, a relationship, there could be a renewal of a relationship here. Because there's a lot of love. This is where you've been. And this doesn't have to be an actual wedding. This situation involves marriage. It can. This new person could be a soulmate. Seriously. Or the person that you're with right now, if you're coupled. But if you're single and you've made a choice just recently, that's what it looks like to me, that somebody, I think there was a false foundation that came breaking down. And it's either making you go in the because you had to choose you had you making you go in the other direction because something was really false and you've come to realize it or if you're in a relationship you know there was some secret that really was you know that was untrue and that was the falseness and now the relationship can go up a level but if you're single you know this could be your soulmate and if you're partnered this could be your soulmate this is a wonderful new new chapter this is good luck is on its way good fortune in every aspect of your life, it's on its way. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could be with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That's what we have the most. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I think that you are. I don't even think... I mean, if you are, I'm, I'm surprised to see this card. Because I feel like you are very optimistic. But I don't think you were. This is what the problem was, is that you were stuck on somebody, maybe emotionally, and you finally come to realization that that was a false foundation, and it finally broke down, and it can't be rebuilt, and now it's time to look in another direction, and as soon as you, you know, make that step in the other direction, it comes quick. That's what I see. That's what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you for your patience. Um, if you like, subscribe. That would be great. And I will talk to you soon. This may or may not resonate with everybody because I can't read everybody. Thanks for watching.